Hello everyone, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to tap into how the person on your mind truly feels about you currently. Okay, this reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign. Also feel free to switch the energies around as needed. All right, so I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy for how this person feels about you currently is intentional pregnancy, okay? We also have the five of cups here. So, someone is grieving you, okay? They feel as though they've lost you. I feel like they reminisce about all of the things they did wrong to you. For some of you, this person has even been thinking about having a child with you intentionally, Okay, because this card is all about a planned pregnancy set with intentions of conceiving a child. Now, for some of you, if you're not able to have children or this person isn't able to have children, then they wish that they were able to have children or they wish that you were able to have children. Okay, because they feel like it's almost like this person is thinking, if I could just have a child, you know, if I could just have a child with, with Mr. Goddess's viewer, then, you know, everything would be okay. Like, you know, I could trap them like that. I do feel, you know, with this intentional pregnancy card, this person, they do want growth with you. But the damage has been done here, okay? They haven't gotten over you. For some of you, they're upset about things that they can't change. Past actions that they, they took or did to hurt you. Hmm. They want to come back together with you and work things out. But this person is, for one, they're, they're confused on how to even get this to happen. Because I feel like a lot of you, like, you're not paying this person any attention. For some of you, like, you're just not interested anymore. And they're worried about that. I feel like you don't take as much action toward this person as you used to. It's very, very unrequited, okay? Like you don't feel the same way about them that you used to feel. And they're worried because of that. They also feel like you have some secret things going on. Like you may have come together with someone else secretly because you're not taking any action toward them. Hmm. I feel like this person has a lot of emotion for you. And when you don't like, when you're not focused on them or you don't put in a lot of energy toward them, it puts them in their feelings, but they would never let you know that. For some of you, um, you're not taking much action toward them because they've been too sneaky. They're a liar. This is someone that's deceptive. This is for someone specific. If this person knows where you live, they could be like sneaking around your home or like riding past your home in secret or something like that. Okay. That's for someone specifically. That's not for everyone. But um, yeah, they're wanting a new start with you. But see, you guys have learned a lot of lessons. I feel like you're happy or you're going to be happy in the near future. Some of you have started a new relationship. For others of you, there is a new relationship coming in for you. I also feel like this person wants to make things right after they were very inconsistent. Someone that was fickle, a player, you weren't able to depend on them. I feel like this person is like a ladies man or um, a man's lady or so, something. Okay, because it's like this person is used to dating around um with different people i feel like people think that this person is attractive they're used to dealing with different people or getting whoever they want okay but when it comes to you you're fighting them off you're protecting yourself from this person i feel like they brought a lot of drama to your life yeah they feel as though someone else has offered to you secretly or that you may be dealing with someone else for some of you, if you haven't been hearing from them as much lately, or even if you have been hearing from them, they're trying to figure out how to how to come toward you, how to offer to you without you having your guard up. They're trying to get you to let your guard down or they will. 
Yeah. See, they see that you don't reach out to them as much. Some of you may have even blocked them. Like you're closed off to this person. Hmm. Yeah. They want to hear from you. But I don't see you taking a lot of action. And for some of you, it's because you see this person for who they really are. Some of you told this person something. Whatever you said, it may have been harsh, but it was the truth. You let them have it. You let this person have it. You exposed them. You tore off this person's mask. And they know they can't get over on you. So those of you that haven't been reaching out to this person as much, or if you haven't been putting in as much effort, it's because you're fed up. I do feel like you had a soft spot for them at one point, but that is long gone. This person has, um, they feel like, and it's almost like a victim mentality. They feel like you're treating them harshly right now um, because you're not trying to get with them or you're not putting in effort toward them. When in reality, the reason why you're not doing that is because you're fed up with this person's antics. Like they do too much. They're really sneaky. They're very manipulative. Um, this person, they'll tell you some of the truth, but not all of the truth. Oh, my goodness. See, there's a pair here. For some of you, this person feels as though you're their twin flame. Because we have a pair and we also have the four of wands. Some of you have started to... I feel like this person sold you a dream at first. And a lot of you may have been very, you know, you wanted things to work out with this person at some point. But it's like now you're thinking more logically about it. And even if the two of you aren't together, it's like, okay, well, it is what it is. It isn't meant to be. But they still want to talk to you. For some of you, they may reach out to you online. Hmm. This person, they want to start a new cycle. There's also something they want to po apologize about, but I feel like this person's narcissistic. <sighs> they want to come in making you think that they've bossed up, like they've come from a knight to a, um, to a king or a queen, when in reality, I feel as though they haven't. Yeah, this person, they, they used to be a heartbreaker. OK, but it looks like now they're heartbroken because you're not falling for their games. You guys are strong. You're holding back. Some of you have turned your back on this person. For others of you, you are wanting to. I feel like you gave this person time to get it together, but they were still juggling or like they just couldn't get it right. So some of you ended things. And even if this person ended things with you, there's expansion coming toward you. It's like whatever this person put you through, it made you go through some type of um, transformation. You're not the same person that you were when you first met this person. And they know that. You guys have expanded. And for some of you, there's going to be a lot of um, success coming in for you. A lot of success. But they see you as the one. They see you as the one. Hmm. Spirit is also saying use your intuition when it comes to this person. You guys are very intuitive anyway. OK, use your intuition because for some of you, um, if you were to try to make things work out with this person, there would be drama. There will be drama for some of you. Don't be surprised if they reach out to you with an argument, like to argue with you or to start drama. And basically it's all because they feel as though you have it all. Like everything's going well for you. Okay. Wow. They also want to hold you back from other options. They don't want you, anyone else having you. Your success kills this person. It eats at them. 
I feel like for some of you, they want to come back because they see you very independent. They see you doing well without them. It's almost like when you ended things with this person or when they ended things with you, you bossed up very quickly. It's like your finances got better. Everything got better for you. Your wishes became fulfilled. A lot of you are healing or you have healed. You are realizing um, things about yourself, okay? You're working on yourself. Look at this. You guys are bosses. Whether you're male or female, you're coming off as very attractive. You have it all together. Wow. Very confident. They see you as very confident. They think you're very good looking. It's like they feel like if they could be with you, they would have it all. That's why they're feeling this loss because they see that you bossed up and you are guarded. You guys are focusing on work. And now that this person's going to come back focusing on you, you're not even interested anymore. You're not taking any action because you have a new perspective when it comes to this, this person. You don't see them the same. They're also watching you. They're watching you very closely. For some of you, if you have social media or if this person has seen you out and about or something like that, even if they've been researching you, they have um, come to some type of realization about something and it burdens them. For some of you, they think that you've started a new relationship. You guys are at peace. You're balanced. I see your, your healing. You're not overextending yourself. And they're stressed because, you know, they, they don't have a lot. And also, it's like they don't know what to say to you anymore. Because it's like this person feels like whatever they say to you is not going to be enough. And they're stressed about it. Especially, they stress a lot about you at night. They think about reaching out to you. But for a lot of you, you're not interested. Like, this has gotten old. You're bored with it. You've grown on board with this person. Because when you were focused on them, when you were pouring in your emotion to them, or, you know, letting this person know how much you cared about them, you know, it's almost like they weren't reciprocating it. Oh my goodness. They have all type of negative thoughts because they want a new opportunity with you so bad. Because for one, they're going through financial problems and there's somebody they got together with and that person is playing them to the left, like for real. They, they're getting played. And see, so you can't trust this person. You can't trust them at all. If the two of you were to come back together, okay, it's almost like they want to, they want to um, get back into your life only to play games with you and also to, um, it's like they want to be involved in your life to celebrate the good things that, that they see coming in for you. They want a piece of it. For some of you, they want to take it from you. Be careful. I heard revenge. So for some of you, this person, since you're not paying them much attention, they may try to, you know, plot up on how they can um, get you to reconcile with them so that they can, you know, be vengeful. But little do they know you're focused on your money. Some of you, they want to reconcile because, like I said, they see that you bossed up. You guys realize past mistakes. And so you no longer want a relationship with this person. At least not for now. A lot of you don't. Some of you do may do want a relationship with this person, but things have to change first. Like, I feel like this person, if you were to offer to them, they would try to stroke your ego, tell you everything that they think you want to hear. And at the same time, they want what you have and they would become back toxic. Like, well, 
I can't say back toxic because they, they've been toxic the whole time, but the mask is going to fall off again and you would just end up leaving this person. I see a lot of um, victory for you when it comes to your career. Oh my goodness. This person, um, they're pissed. They're, they're upset and they're pissed off because this is someone used to getting their way and you're not having it. Like you're not falling for any of their tricks. You're not, you're doing your own thing. You're doing your own thing and they hate it. Like they really feel like they've lost you. Hmm. All right. Give me more. Let's look at this. I told you they're stressed about your glow up. This person is stressed out that you've glowed up. Okay. <laughs> they're stressed out about it. Because they see that you're a boss and they're over here in this page of Pentacles energy. Barely, barely able to um, pay bills and this, that, and the other. Like you are, if you are not making good money right now, you're going to be making good money. Okay. This is someone, this person is someone that wants to look like they have good money when they really don't. They're stressed about it. For some of you, they owe you money or they owe people money. Oh my goodness. All right. Give me more Holy Spirit in regards to this person. Give me more. In regards to how this person truly feels currently. How does this person truly feel currently? Holy Spirit. Oh, this person's a mess. Two more shuffles. Hmm. Okay. So we have the six of wands. So they feel as though you're victorious. They see you as someone. They feel like you're popular. Or you get a lot of attention. Wow. And they're over here in this five of cups energy. They see you being very stable. Mm. For some of you, it's like this person is a clout chaser. Because some of you are in the public eye. If you're not in the public eye, I see you being very popular or just getting a lot of attention. And they want they want to be involved in that. See, there's a lot of expansion within your career. Okay, a lot of happiness. Um, generational wealth. My goodness. So they want to come back in trying to extend an offer. But it's too late because you don't you don't look at them the same anymore. Hmm. My goodness. It's just a little too late. Too little too late. Why is the five of cups here, Holy Spirit, for how this person truly feels currently? Why is the five of cups here? Look, the full card. And it came out crossing. They regret whatever they did to, to make you not trust them. Okay, because this person destroyed this connection. And they're aware of it. They are aware that they're the reason for this ending. Okay. I'm going to say something very triggering. So, I want to, you know, apologize ahead of time. Okay. But those of you that, you know, have decided to leap, take a leap of faith and just, you know, leave this person behind and, you know, start new. For some, not for everyone, they wish death on you. They have. And I'm sorry, to, you know, I don't, I'm not trying to offend anyone, but I got to put it out there. They have, but little do they know you're very well protected. Very well protected. Nothing that they say or do will manifest because they're the page of cups. This person is jealous of your success. I'm telling you, they are jealous. They're mad. It's like they're angry because they see you as having it all, being... um very satisfied within your life but you've worked hard for all of this but they want a piece of it for some of you this person is drinking a lot or doing some type of drugs they may deal with multiple people even if you were to try to have a monogamous relationship with them they would still be dealing with other people conversing with other people things such as that Wow. 
I feel like this person sold you a dream at one point and now it's over with. Like, you're no longer under any type of illusion. You're guarded. You have your guard up. And I don't blame you. I don't blame you. So, yeah, they regret whatever they did. They made foolish choices and now they're regretting it because it tore down the foundation of this relationship. Like, it's destroyed. They At this point, they feel like they don't even know if they could get you back because they feel like you're on to newer and better things. But whatever you have started new or if you were to start something new, they're hoping that it won't work out for you. So that may be why I, I, I heard revenge earlier in the reading. It's like they want to be vengeful, spiteful. It's like if I can't, um, if I can't to be a part of your success, then I don't want you to have the success. Like that's in, like this person's envious. For some of you, they feel like it should be them when they haven't even done the work. Give me one more message, Holy Spirit. Why is the six of wands here? Thank you. Look. I told you victim mentality the queen of swords in reverse come on now for some of you they feel like you're um some of you that have cut this person out okay for some they have been talking very nasty about you saying nasty things they have a victim mentality I told you for some of you they feel like this should be them with the victory they're telling lies. They feel entitled to your success or what you have. This, this fool is crazy. And it's all because they're going through these burdens. Okay, because they refuse to learn their lessons. They refuse to evolve. They refuse to do that. It's like your success scares them or bothers them they're in their feelings about it mm -mm -mm -mm. I, I, i'm just like the queen of swords in reverse really narcissistic um a liar a, a meddler someone that's slandering you Trying to get people to see you differently. Trying to make people think you're the reason why things didn't work. And not saying that you're perfect, but this is someone that, oh, they did this to me. They did that to me. This is someone that feels entitled. So just because you two have dealt with each other, they feel as though they should be a part of your success. Or that should be their success. It's like you're living the life that they want. And if they can't be a part of it, they'd rather for you to not have it at all. And there's nothing they can do about it because this is yours. You're being blessed. This is your blessing. Give me more about this Queen of Swords in reverse, Holy Spirit. Mm, 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 mm. Look, see, I told you they want your money. They want you to give to them. They see how successful you are. And so they feel entitled to your to whatever you have. They feel like you should give to them. Oh, woe is me. Oh, look at pitiful little me down here. Give to me. Give to me. You have it all. You're so successful. You, you're you doing good. Get, please give me some. I, I deserve it. You should give me some. You know I'm having a hard time financially. They're crazy. And because the Empress is clarifying the Queen of Swords, which is your person. Your person is Queen of Swords in reverse. The Empress came out clarifying. Didn't I say it's nothing they can do about it? You're going to grow and glow anyway. All right, because you've done the work, you've planted the seeds, and now you're reaping the um the harvest. And if you haven't started reaping it as, as of yet, you will. They want what you have, I'm telling you. This they have a lot of nerve. The audacity of this energy, the audacity, okay. They're very materialistic, they're coming off that way. Mm, 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 mm. Whew, okay let me get a few more messages give me more um let me see what this intentional pregnancy is about one more card why is this intentional pregnancy here holy spirit see 
they feel like things will work out. I told you, thank you for the confirmation, Spirit. Didn't I tell you they think that if the two of you have a child together, that that way things can work out or you would want to work together with them then? I don't know why people think just because you have a child with them that you have to be together. That couldn't be the furthest from the truth. See, they're they're thinking, okay, if if I can have a child with them, you know, then they'll they'll love me again. They'll have all this emotion for me again. But see, the thing about it is you guys already see them as a sneaky person. Oh my goodness. I'm I'm flabbergasted. I don't use that word usually, but I am flabbergasted. The audacity of this person. And like I said, even if you can't have children, they feel that way. Dang, I wish I could have children or I wish she could have children because if, you know, if, if we could have kids, it, it would all work out. But they want growth. For some of you, they feel like deep down inside, you still want to deal with them or you still want to work things out. Look at this, sneaky link. It came out crossing. So for some of you, they feel like you have like a secret lover or you're involved with someone else. Okay. Um, for some of you, they um, think that you appear nonchalant, but you're really in your mind about them. Hmm. Give me more Holy Spirit with how this person truly feels currently. Thank you. See, pregnancy. This is no coincidence. We have intentional pregnancy and pregnancy here. And possessive at the bottom of the deck. Desire to own or dominate. Meaning, this person feels like if I could just have a child, if I was just able to have children, or if I could just have a child, I could be possessive over them. Like, I can dominate over them. Then, you got to be a fool to think that. See, look. And I just said you got to be a fool to think that. Spirit is <laughs> Spirit, <laughs> my guides have a sense of humor, okay? I was just saying they got to be crazy and spirit saying mental disorder. Yeah, they're crazy. <sighs> okay, one more card. Give me one more card, Holy Spirit. Give me one more card for how this person truly feels currently. I've been trying to make you jealous. So for some of you, they feel as though um, you've been trying to make them jealous. For some of you, they've been trying to make you jealous. Um, and it pisses them off. So you may not even be trying to make this person jealous. You may just be living your life, enjoying your life, just trying to be happy. And they feel like you're trying to make them jealous. Okay, now some of you may have intentionally tried to make this person jealous. If you did, it's working. And for some of you, they've been trying to make you jealous. They've been trying to um, get you out of um, character. They're, they've been trying to make you angry. Whew. Oh, this is crazy. All right. So, oh, this was the tea, guys. This was the tea. If I knew it would have been this good, I would have told you guys to um, get your teacups out. And your little um, sugar cubes. Whew, okay. <laughs> All right. So, everyone, that is the reading. If you guys resonated with this or if you like this type of reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Hold on. I got to say one more thing. For some of you, if you get together and meet up with this person, they may try to have children with you or try to get you pregnant or have a child by you intentionally. Just so you know that. Okay. All right, so, um, yeah, so if you guys like this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time, bye.